So the film is called 21 Miles in Malibu. Nick Davis is the director. Ellen Shane is my wife and also in the film. I'm the producer, Michelle Shane. And we tell the story of Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu and the dangers that it creates. What was the biggest um, issue in production that you guys came across? <laughs> the biggest issue? It took 10 years to deliver <laughs> a one hour film. Uh, a lot of directors, a lot of misdirection, a lot of empty promises, and, but you know what? You have to stay with what you believe in to make them make it happen, and that's the key. I'm just thankful to have worked with, with these two for the, the whole time and, and have met Alan so many years ago and, and uh, have worked with Michelle sh shortly after that. So, um, yeah, thank you both. Thank you for bringing thank me on. Let me tell your story. <laughs> thank you. Well, our film's a surfing documentary um, about anti Semitism actually in uh, surf history. And um, it was a very uh, investigative story. We went through the decades and learned um, about different threads of hate that have uh, plagued the sport that we love. Um, but from there, we wanted to uh, tell a very positive story, and um, together as a team, we were able to do that. Uh, it's about a goblin that sweats borscht. Uh, so that's the typical movie. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, written by this gentleman here, <laughs> and uh, directed by Laura, and produced by Ariel. So, uh, it was just like quite strange. I was wearing a costume. So, uh, I didn't even know how it would feel until I actually had it on. So I didn't know how it would look or anything, you know. But I thought it was pretty fun actually. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, really good experience. But they made it very easy to have a good time. Yeah, so my parents are goblins, so it came naturally to me. Um, no, but it's just, I wanted to write a movie about sweating. And I wanted, I wanted the sweat to be, to be something that's a creation that brings people happiness. And uh, Borscht just fit the bill. So the film is called Retreat. Um, it's a Swiss film. We're both based in Zurich. And it's my feature film debut. And it's a story about a father and son. Uh, it's about a father who is afraid for the future of his 10-year-old boy and he then decides to kidnap him and quit society with him for good to protect him and yeah and then he finds out that like living in nature is not as easy as it seems and yeah that his son basically doesn't want to. So it's a film about this motif of like living an autark life and also a bit of escapism and isolation. Yeah. I have to redirect him, but I think it's nature. the weather, yeah. nature, yeah. it's the third protagonist, as he calls it. And uh, so, yeah, I could tell him more about it, I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's the really film fun. is shot in the Swiss mountains, and uh, we shot it in autumn and winter. And as he said, like, uh, the film is very much, they're living in this recluse kind of hut. So we shot it there, and yeah, nature doesn't play according to the script, so after a while we kind of experience the same like our characters and have to kind of deal with those conditions. And, but it's also a gift, you know, you can, sometimes uh, there's like a, an amazing weather which you didn't expect or like a lot of stuff which just nature can also be like a huge gift for uh, shooting a film as well. So it was a challenge and also like a beautiful experience. And I'm wondering what was the biggest effect this had on your life working on this production? Um, it's it's the it's the confirmation that it can be this way and this good and this creative yeah, these things, and this collaborative uh, confirmation that it is possible. That's been it. It's always nice to reach a lighthouse where you say, "Ah, yeah, I knew this was what, this is the right So it's been a great experience.